I think, I think you know, you got to look at the, I always look at the socialization process that, that all the heart guys went through with a dungeon. I mean, oh, there's, there's just yeah, nobody. Yeah, yeah. yeah, come on. Like, you, it's, oh, Brett took it a little serious. Well, f- <laughs> yeah. Stu Hart's your dad. Yeah, Stu Hart's your <laughs> fucking, yeah. But Brett took it a little, no shit. Which is why I always thought that the, um, I don't know, the surrounding the Montreal thing. Did Brett, with Stu Hart as his father, really think it was acceptable to turn to a promoter and say, no, nah, you're, you're not getting your belt back right now? What would Stu Hart have done if somebody said to Stu, yeah, you know what, not tonight, Stu? Just feel Brett should have known better. That's what I feel. You're noticeably silent, and that's fine. Did you meet Stu Hart ever? Oh, yeah. Hey, you big bastard. You'd be a good fucking leg wrestler. What do you say? A good leg yeah, wrestler? Yeah, like I guess they do the, the Indian leg wrestling where you lay on your back and you wrestle or some shit. He was, he'd always say, yeah, yeah, big fucking bastard. He was always good to me. Um, uh, while we're on Warrior, let me, uh, uh, Steve, I just gave you a link. I want you to try and bring that up. Um, but you never went up to, like, the dungeon. You never went up to Hart House mm-hmm. in Calgary or anything like that. And, uh, some harrowing tales of uh, what went on up in uh, Hart House.